NoLoco recently had a big launch week where they announced several new features that have now made it into the application. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com and we help companies like yours build portals, apps, and integrations. So the first feature is really a revamp. This is something called Build Mode 2.0. We're here inside of NoLoco and you can see that we've got a little toggle icon for Build Mode down here. Now this used to be something that was larger. It took up more screen real estate. So they've shrunk this down. You can toggle on Build Mode. You also have the ability to view this as other users and rather than take up more screen space. This is now nicely condensed here. But what you can also do is you can actually drag this around the screen so you can put this wherever feels most out of the way to you as you're building your application. Let's go ahead and toggle on our build mode. Right away, you'll notice a difference in the layout, the navigation of how we actually build and configure our application. On the left-hand side, we have a dedicated area for our pages and our components. So up in the upper left-hand corner, we have all of our different pages. This is now a really easy drag and droppable experience where we can change how this appears on the pages themselves. Right now, I'm taking a look at the different components that we have. And then you can see that we can easily add our different components to the screen and there's so much less information here. Now we can really focus on the pieces at hand as we're adding components or up at the top as we're adding new pages and collections. On the right hand side, we now have a really nice customization panel. And why I like how they separated this out is because before, oftentimes you'd get a little bit stuck. You'd get some options that you'd wanna find, especially around visibility settings, which would tend to get a little bit buried. And so you'd be clicking through some nested menus. Now it's really easy because we can say, navigation is all on the left hand side. On the right hand side of the page is where we have all of our different options. You can see that this is a tabbed layout. So for certain components. We're just going to have a couple options, options and visibility. If I click on another one, we can see that we've got general options, fields and visibility. This is the max that we have these four different tabs. So for general, we're going to be able to see different kinds of layouts. I'm looking at a collection right now so I can change how this displays with the different layouts that we have for our collections. Really easy to change that. Under options, we've got things like filter and sorts and limits. We can add different buttons, both to the collection and the items themselves. Fields is where we configure what's actually displaying in the collection that we're looking at. So in this case, if I want to turn on created at, that's going to now update that of which fields are displaying on the screen. And then we have our visibility settings as well. And again, this was one that tended to get a little bit buried. So it's really nice that we know here's where we can always go if we wanna change those visibility settings. Now from a navigation standpoint, Noloco has always had this left-hand navigation. So as you're actually interacting with the app itself, you've got your different pages that you can click into. But if we go back into our build mode, head into settings and click on navigation, now we have an option where we can choose if we want it to be a left-hand sidebar navigation or if we want to have a top navigation instead. If I head back into my app, we can now see what this looks like. We've got all of our pages across the top. The part that makes me laugh about this is we work with a lot of no code tools and it seems like more of these tools are actually now switching over so that they have a left hand navigation similar to what NoLoco is known for. And NoLoco is now providing the option to give us top navigation. So it's really personal preference, but now you have either of those choices. Next, let's take a look at the new and improved data tables 2.0, we can look at one of our tables like our opportunities or maybe our accounts. And first of all, there's a lot of performance improvements. So now it's really easy to scroll and see a lot of data at one time. It feels much more smooth, kind of like a spreadsheet type experience. And similar to spreadsheets, we can do more things that feel similar, including if we want to take records and we want to select multiple pieces of data at the same time or maybe we want to be able to update multiple segments of data so i'm going to select the company size let's say we want to apply this to other records we can click and drag and now we can have it update those values so in general it feels a lot more like a spreadsheet in addition we could do something and maybe we want to copy some of this data in bulk so let's go ahead and command c open up a spreadsheet if we want to pull some of that data out and look, really easy to be able to transfer data to and from NoLoco. Because of how easy the new data tables are to use, I think this makes it much easier that you can use this as your primary experience for editing some of that data. So especially if you're using an outside data source, maybe something like MySQL or Postgres, now you wanna have this layer on top. You can just edit your data here. You don't have to constantly be navigating back and forth between experiences because of course NoLoco is gonna keep that data in sync with your outside data source. Last but not least, let's talk about a couple component changes changes. If you click on the plus button here, we have a new notice component. We can click on that. Let's go ahead and drag that up here. 
So this notice can provide additional information. This could be static or it could be dynamic information. So here we can choose a color and indicator. Maybe this is a really hard account or we always want to check because they have overdue balances. We can put in notices. Here's where we could plug in data. Again, I could just type if I want to have my own information, just a note on the account. But we could also plug in that data dynamically from the actual fields that we have in the table itself. And we can take that a step further, of course, if we want to add our action buttons. Feel free to check out the other video that we've created on action buttons if you want to see how easy it is to configure those different custom actions within the application. And the last thing is we also have the ability to auto-complete address fields. This is a new feature inside of NoLoco. So here I've got my address. Let me click over on my fields. This HQ address is actually a, a text field. And so in the past, a lot of people would just use text fields for addresses. Make sure in this case that we are using the NoLoco address field because this has that additional logic baked into it that's different than if we just had a text field. So here I've got my address. Let me go ahead and click on my settings here. And we're going to form input options here. And this is where we've got this option to display field as Google Maps autocomplete field. So we are going to need to grab a Google Maps API key, but the good news is, is there's a really generous free plan. And so we most likely will not have to pay to be able to display information on maps. So in Google Cloud, there's an area for Google Maps platform. And we're just gonna copy this API key and then we'll paste in our key here and press save. If you need to configure this at any point, we've got our settings and there's an area for integrations and API keys. You can scroll down and there is an area for Google Maps. Now we can edit our account record as an end user. We'll click on our address field, start searching for an address here. That's going to automatically update those values for us. So it helps simplify that process of inserting a new address. Hopefully this has been helpful to see a lot of the exciting new functionality inside of NoLoco. If you have any questions about getting up and running with NoLoco, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30 minute consultations.